Welcome to evening prayer. Today, the 18th of January, is the first day in the week of prayer or the octave of prayer for Christian unity. And so for the next few days, I've turned away from the images and the quilt and to the material that is put together by the people of Burkina Faso for this year's week of prayer um, focus on both worship and our day-to-day -day activities. So day one. A lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? So help us, Lord, to have a life turned towards you. To read from Romans chapter 14 and verses 8 and 9. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. So the theme for this day in the week of prayer is made in the image of God. And to continue on, I'm going to read from Psalm 103 and verses 13 to 18. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we were made. He remembers that we are dust. As for mortals, their days are like grass. They flourish like a flower in the field. For the wind passes over it and it is gone and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. So back to that question at the very beginning, what must I do to inherit eternal life? A crucial question asked of Jesus by a lawyer and a question that challenges every believer in God. Because it affects the meaning of our life on earth and for eternity. Elsewhere in scripture, Jesus gives us the ultimate definition of eternal life. That they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Knowing God means discovering and doing the will of God in our lives. God's dream for us finds powerful expression in the words of Saint Irenaeus. The glory of God is a human being fully alive. In the world that we live in, violence, greed and exploitation distance us from one another and from Jesus as the way. The way that leads us to the Father. The people of Burkina Faso speak with experience of being torn apart and traumatised by violence and identity-based conflict for eight years. But within them is also a message of hope in the promise of Jesus' all-embracing love. And whilst their life might be very different from our own, we can perhaps identify 
and find parallels with the challenges that face them and face us. We have a responsibility to acknowledge the corrosive ways that violence and words have effect on other people. We have a duty of care as we pick up the pieces and we have a responsibility to follow Jesus teaching and ministry and the sacrifice that is offered so fully. Jesus doesn't expect us to minimise our differences but maybe to celebrate them and to establish connections and relationships with one another. So let's pray. God of life, you have created us to have life and have life in all its fullness. Help your wounded church to be a source of hope and healing as we follow Jesus' way with determination. May we lead others to you. And as we pray, we consider how we are made in your image, Lord. Each and every one different and unique, but still carrying the mark of you. So we lift to you the dreams that you have for us. The way in which you would have us move forward as your witnesses. And the kingdom that you are building. Enable us not just to ponder and reflect, to pray and to watch, but to truly notice what you are doing and to join in. So hear our prayer, we pray, as we offer the prayer that Jesus gave us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So go in peace. May the God of hope go with you. Amen.